Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. Wow, it's been an incredibly long time since I, I made and posted a video. Uh, I took extended time off uh, to focus on work and my health and school. But a lot of these things are in better shapes now. And so I am back to making more videos. But um, as I prepared to make more videos, I just wanted to put this quick one out there. Uh, just to talk a bit about how businesses and startups can really adapt to these challenging economic macroeconomic conditions that we're currently facing in Ghana. Um, unless you have been living under a rock, you probably are aware that things have been hard for some time. Uh, prices of things have increased, have skyrocketed. The Ghana city has lost 56% of its value to the US dollar this year alone. Inflation is at 40%. And so you ask yourself, if you're a business, um, how do you survive these? A lot of businesses have shut down because they could not cope with these challenges. And so if you're a business, how do you stay in business? How do you, how do you survive? If you're a startup that hasn't started making profit, how do you keep going? And so I want to share five ways that I think that um, startups and businesses can adapt to these challenging macroeconomic environments in Ghana and still remain in business. So let's just get right into it. So number one, um, you need to review and adjust your, your pricing strategy in response to increasing costs. I'm sure your cost of doing business has increased and so you have to go back to the books, look at the, the way you're pricing your, your products and your services and adjust them, increase your prices uh, so that you can maintain uh, profitability because if you want to say, oh, I don't want to increase my prices, uh, you realize that you'll be selling but you'll not be making any profit. So number one thing you can do is to review and adjust or increase the prices of your products and your services um, to maintain profitability. If it's possible, also figure out how you can reduce certain costs associated with your products and services so that you can what, maintain um, the same level of profitability. So that's number one. Point number two, seek out new markets or export opportunities. Yeah, one way you can fight against the devaluation of uh, the currency uh, is to figure out whether it's possible to sell your products uh, or offer services outside of Ghana. Now, what that does is that it gives you the opportunity to earn um, part of your revenue in a different currency, say the US dollar, right? So that it, you can use that to hedge against inflation and then decreasing costs, especially if you import any raw materials or you pay for any of your, your, your inputs in US dollars or any other foreign currency. Once you're selling outside of the country or if once you're, you're exporting some of your products, you can earn some part of your revenue in this currency and then this helps you to really uh, minimize the impacts of the devaluating uh, Ghana CD on your business. So point number three, um, diversify your products or service offerings. If your entire business is dependent on one or one product or service, then that puts you at a lot of risk, especially if you're, say, you're importing raw materials or uh, you're importing part of the inputs needed to make that product. That puts you at risk because, you know, you are more uh, subject to being uh, affected by economic uncertainty. So figure out, can you diversify your products uh, and services? Can you start producing or offering other uh, similar or adjacent services uh, to what you currently offer just so that you can have income coming in from multiple streams and uh, protect you from, from um, more economic uncertainty. So number four, tighten your budgets and control your costs. Yes, you realize that when you analyze your business deeply, you'll be able to identify areas where you can actually cut down and reduce costs. Maybe um, right now um, you might you have like a budget for marketing. You might want to cut down on some of those budgets. Uh, things. Look at your business and look at areas where you can reduce costs because right now cash is skin. And if you run out of cash, it's game over for you. So look at where you can reduce costs. Point number five, if you really cash strapped, maybe you should consider alternative sources of funding. Right now, banks are not the great places to raise funding because interest rates are crazy and banks are, are really on edge about all of the risk, risks involved in lending out in these times. And so you have to look at other sources of funding. Um, one popular source of funding I've started seeing now is crowdfunding. It's not really popular in Ghana, but hey, give it a shot. I've seen a lot of businesses that are like really raising funds through crowdfunding. And it could be one of the ways that you, you, you bring in more money into the 
into your business so that you can stay afloat. So if it works for you, give it a shot. The worst that can happen is no one donates to your crowdfunding campaign. But if it works out, this could be something uh, that really gives you extra cash to, to keep going. Yeah, so that is it. Um, we're all hoping that the economic situation in Ghana improves um, quickly. But I hope these tips are helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And see you in the next video.